Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Nancy Pelosi announced that she is going to seek re-election in her district in San Francisco. If I've read the article correctly, it'll be the 20th uh, term that she would have served, so 40 years in Congress if she gets through with this one. I have little doubt that she will be re-elected if she runs in San Francisco. Um, despite all the cries about people being too old, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, she'll still win. Um, my question, though, is somebody brought up, will she be the House Speaker again? Or will they go with Hakeem Jeffries? So let's throw quickly on that one. That's a spirit. If Nancy Pelosi, if the Democrats in 2024 take the House and Nancy Pelosi and Hakeem Jeffries are in there, will Nancy Pelosi uh, be the House Speaker? There's uh, plans going forward. It's very possible, um, but this finally, <laughs> finally could mean transition plans. Yeah, 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 yeah. If she does, if she is the House Speaker, it'll be her last time. It, it'll, it'll complete the cycle. It could very well be that um, she's not the House Speaker, and then somebody like Hakeem Jeffries goes in there, but he's consulting her a lot. Uh, and it, 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 that, it's kind of one of those two things. Either she'll be the speaker and that'll be her last time or somebody else is the speaker and it closes the circle. She's just a congressperson as opposed to the, uh, <coughs> as opposed to the, the leader. I think Hakeem Jeffries is now the minority leader. It would make sense that he becomes the majority leader. I don't think just because it would be the majority leader that suddenly she's going to jump on that. I don't think she's got that type of ego at this point. Um, Sun card, all will be revealed. Um, yeah, I suspect that even in the times right now, he she is tutoring him so that she can close out her career. And maybe she wants to run one more term because she wants to give him all the tools he needs that she has shown him how to work it when he's the minority house leader. And if the Democrats get the house, she wants to show him how to run it when he's the majority house leader. And then she's shown him how to lead in both circumstances. So I'm going to amend my prediction and say that if she's reelected and the Dems take the house, Hakeem Jeffries or somebody else will be the house leader. She is just going to be the person who helps them, which is what exactly what she's doing now. She's just a member of the house. She's got an agreement uh, to, to basically tutor him and show him the ropes. Oh, current situation of the seven of swords. Um, I think in some ways, uh, she's showing him what happens, you know, basically when elections are stolen or when power is being stolen uh, or, or even if you look how the Republicans are in disarray and how a minority group is taking all the power away from the entire army. She is showing him what to look for with stuff like that in his own party. Please note how she was able to negotiate and get um, programs done when the Democrats were lost a majority and the Progressive Party started getting really loud and vocal. She was able to negotiate with uh, the folks in the Democratic Party on, on the, the farther left. Now, I will tell you that I think that... <laughs> Uh, Democrats are way more reasonable and willing to compromise than Republicans. Just say it's more their nature. But that doesn't mean that the far left of the Democratic Party don't have their agenda that they want to have done. Yep, it's all, it's about governing. Everything about governing, the goods and the bads, <coughs> and how basically how things can be stolen from the government by a minority party. It's how to con consolidate your power, keep you know, some cards, keep them, some things close to the vest when you're dealing with uh, the extreme end of your party. Make the compromises where you can. Uh, limit the promises as much as possible. You know, <clears throat> maintain as much power as you can and consolidate that. Because if you just, if you let the inmates run the asylum, everything's going to be crazy. <clears throat> yep. 
she'll show them the way. Show them the way. Everything's going to be down with with that. Now, do a little four carter real quick on Hakeem Jeffries, and we will wrap up this reading. So, yeah, Nancy Pelosi. I mean, I'm not even going to throw on whether she's going to be uh, elected or not. She's going to be elected. Something. <laughs> Something really, really terrible would have to happen for her not to be elected. And I suspect if she died and her name was on the ballot, she'd still get elected. Um, okay, that being said, if elected, I do not see her being the House Speaker. I see her tutoring Hakeem Jeffries or whoever the House Speaker is, just like she's tutoring Hakeem Jeffries right now to be the Minority Party Leader. And now I want to know, will Hakeem Jeffries be the Majority House Speaker in 2024 slash 2025, assuming the Democrats take the House. Entertainment purposes only. Oh, there's some disappointment. What's that all about? <sighs> Winning at all costs, going away, fighting, election interference. Oh, God. Okay, so... It's going to be a struggle for him, maybe because the Democrats don't get as as big a House victory as he would like. Um, get the Six of Swords here. Keep things going away, things going to calmer shores, moving from troubled waters. Um, you know what this is? I think this is just this is a sadness for the state of affairs in the United States in general. I don't think this is telling me about how he feels in 2025. I think it's telling me how he feels right now. And I think how he feels right now is just great disappointment. Um, you know, we're, as we move away from the 2020 election, we're still not out of the woods with this. There is, There are still people trying to, you know, win at all costs. There's turmoil, there's arguing, there's fighting, everything along those lines. And then you got the Page of Pentacles with election interference. This could also be that if McCarthy is removed, he's not getting that position this next time around. I, 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 I give that a very low probability simply because uh, there should be no, there should be no um, illusion that he's going to be the, the House Speaker, not with the, the GOP in charge. Let that hill, that drunken hillbilly fight at the trailer park <laughs> just rage on. But it's going to be embarrassing. I think that's kind of what you're seeing is you know, McCarthy removed, and then it's win at all costs, and all the, the fighting and the bickering and the arguing going on, the grifting, the election interference, all that stuff. It might even be that Hakeem Jeffries looks at the politics these days and is just disappointed by what he sees. It could That would be a reasonable... Uh, translation as well. Um, throw one more time on will Hakeem Jeffries be the House Speaker in 2025? Assuming the Democrats win. He's the minority speaker now. Will he become the majority speaker? King of Cups, that seems to be a yes. Maturity. Queen of Pentacles. There's an agreement. The World Card completing the circle. Sudden endings. Um, yeah, um, he will be. I think uh, he will be. It's going to be. There's going to be a lot of turmoil leading up to this. There might be more cha election challenges and stuff like that. Stuff going along. Shenanigans trying to delay the uh, the appointment. But he's going to get there. It's just there's going to be some. There's going to be mayhem. Of course, there's going to be mayhem. Um, I think it's already agreed that's going to happen. He's already worked with Nancy Pelosi on this one. This card, remember, this card came up the other day with my Liz Cheney thing. Um, Liz Cheney, to me, and Nancy Pelosi, again, are cut from the same cloth, just the different ends of the table. So, you know, Pelosi taking care of the country. It brings her career to an end. He's been in agreement with her. He's going to be the one in charge. But there's going to be some disasters 
that are going on. But I don't think that's going to be within the Democratic Party. I think that is going to be challenges from the Republican Party because why wouldn't it be? Okay, so that's my thoughts on it. Nancy Pelosi reelected, yes. Nancy Pelosi, uh, Speaker of the House, Majority Speaker of the House, no. Hakeem Jeffries, disappointed with how things are going right now in this country. Uh, Hakeem Jeffries will be the, the Majority Speaker of the House in 2025, assuming the Democrats win the House. So get out and vote. Vote blue. Get like-minded people out to vote blue. Make sure they're registered. <laughs> Do what you can to help your neighbors and your friends get registered and then get out to vote so that we can throw these extremists, i.e. the Republicans and the MAGA faction especially, out of office and then start doing the hard work on securing our elections, uh, voter rights, and all the things that we need to do to have free and fair elections going forward. Okay. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for your likes and comments and shares. So my videos get out to new viewers. Welcome to the new viewers. Glad you found us. Hope you stick around and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.